Welcome to this instructional video for the Chrome browser extension called User Agent Switcher and Manager. Every web user has a user agent, which acts as a mediator between users and web servers by processing and transmitting users' instructions to the web servers and then data from the web servers back to the users. Many applications act as user agents, including browsers like Chrome. Once a user agent identifies itself to the server, it is common for applications to receive content tailored to the user agent. However, it is possible to change one's user agent through search engine development tools or browser extensions like the user agent switcher and manager. This is useful for investigations into the differences in online content displayed in response to various user agent characteristics. To begin, we need to install the extension. Once you have Chrome open, you can go ahead and search for User Agent Switcher and Manager. You'll find it under the Chrome Web Store. The overview provides some more information about the extension. We'll go ahead and add the extension to Chrome. In order to change our user agent, we click on the browser extension and you can see that it gives a number of options to choose from. We can change both the browser and the operating system. For the browser, I can make a selection, say Firefox. And for the operating system, I can also make a choice. And then further specify this combination of browser and operating system from the list displayed below. The browser extension then offers us the option to decide whether we want our selected user agent to apply only for the active window, so all tabs within this active window, or whether we want it to apply to all windows of Chrome. For now, I will just select the active window option. Now that a user agent has been selected, we can also further manage this user agent You can already see the options displayed here, but if you click on options, the different choices have a description that accompanies them, which can help you make your choice. Don't forget once you choose which mode you would like to use, to press save. You might at one point want to verify that your user agent is as you selected, or perhaps you're also curious to know what user agent you have been using. In order to do this, you can open a new tab in Chrome and just search, what is my user agent? For me, it automatically displays itself here, but if this does not happen for you, there are also multiple websites that come up, which will tell you what your current user agent is. There is the option to keep the extension installed, but to turn it on and off when you need. To do this, go to Manage Extension, and you can turn it on and off. Finally, to remove the extension altogether, there are two options. Under Manage Extensions, you can click the button that says Remove Extension. Alternatively, you can also select from the original list outside of Manage Extensions to remove the extension.